The sound of the shinobue touches an ancient chord in the heart of the Japanese people. In 1998, I became deeply fascinated by the charm of the shinobue. Bamboo is a very simple but profound material. Bamboo is like the universe. I harvest the bamboo each year when frost first begin to appear. In winter, the bamboo becomes more dehydrated, more dense. The tight bamboo is excellent shinobue material. The canes are dried under natural sunlight for three to five years. 30% of them break during this process and they cannot be used. Only the good ones survive. The canes are then roasted over fire, hardening the bamboo. This makes reliable material for making shinobu with stable tuning. Each piece of bamboo is unique. Depending on how the bamboo feels in my hands, I adjust the position of each finger hole following my intuition. This requires years of experience to develop. I must rely on the feeling in my hands while carving bamboo because I cannot see inside the cane. It's like a wordless conversation I have with each shinobu I make. I carefully check the pitches with a tuner. At this point, the quality of the shinobu is 90% determined. My standard models are tuned to A442 Hz. It's coated by a traditional rocker known as Urushi. This material is very robust and is designed not to crack in either very hot or very cold environments. In fact, this shinobue was bred in Antarctica. My goal is to make a versatile fruit so you can have the quality sound of a repay shinobue anywhere you go. The material used for decoration is pure gold leaf or powdered gold. Genuine gold gives the shinobu a deep radiance that will not fade. I always try to adapt the latest technology. I have converted my shinobu to a 3D model and have created an innovative metal shinobu. Let's make a shinobue of the future together.